little bit wet on the ground, but uh, not too bad as I was in the woods for just a short period of time. The uh, temperatures today, beautiful temperatures, just a little bit above normal, but a little bit cooler than what we've seen, what we've seen over the past couple of days. Those temperatures, though, on the rise as we go through the rest of the week. Looking at your temperatures right now, 73 in Dayton, but you can see further off to the west and to the south, those temperatures right around uh, 80 to 90 degrees. We won't see the 90s going through the rest of the week, but we will get back up into the 80s. As you can see, this warm air going to be surging in here as a warm front will push on through. And if you want to get the lawn mode here over the next couple of days, today looks like a great one here if you uh, have a couple of hours or an hour, I should say. And then as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, temperatures will be a little bit warmer. Thursday looks like the best day with temperatures right around 85 degrees or into the mid 80s there as we go through Thursday. So if you're looking for that warm day, Thursday looks like the best one. Friday, you could get it done in the morning hours, but uh, as we get into the afternoon, it's likely that we'll see those chances of showers and thunderstorms. So if you have anything to do on Friday and need to get it done before it starts raining, might want to get it done in the morning hours. Rainfall today, the greatest at the Dayton International Airport, at least where they measure them, eight, uh, eight tenths of an inch right around it there in Dayton, uh, right around four tenths there in Springfield, just over a quarter of an inch into Salina and Wapakoneta. And again, this is after the midnight hour, so not all of the totals that we saw from those showers into the nighttime last night showed up on the map. Through the morning hours tomorrow, we'll start off a little bit cooler. Temperatures will be in the lower to mid 50s, right around 53 degrees before that sun does come up going through the morning hours. We'll eventually hit the 70s as we get to around 10, 11 a.m. Through the afternoon, those highs uh, getting up to around 81 degrees by 3 o'clock. Lots of sunshine as well. So you can trade that umbrella today for the shades tomorrow. Live Doppler 2 HD, all quiet here on Live Doppler 2 HD. And as we zoom on out, not quiet everywhere. We still do have severe weather off to the west. We're not expecting any of that here as we go through the next uh, several days and into uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Future track going through the rest of the night. It's going to be very clear, maybe a few clouds, but for the most part, staying clear through those overnight hours. A few clouds at times as we go into the midday tomorrow, but lots of sunshine continuing into the afternoon. Overnight going to be the same, mostly clear and continuing through Thursday with lots of sunshine. And again, those temperatures getting up into the uh, mid 80s. As we go through the next 10 days, we also look to stay above normal here in the Miami Valley. Those temperatures dip briefly on Friday and Saturday into the 70s. Back to the 80s though as we end the weekend off and then go into the work week with those temperatures potentially all the way up to 83 degrees and look to stay around the 80 degree mark in those next 10 days. Tonight dropping down to 53, mostly clear and quiet. Winds up to 10 miles per hour. And then tomorrow could be a bit breezy. It's going to be beautiful, but in the afternoon hours we'll have those winds gusting upwards of 25 miles per hour. Sustained winds up to 20 and mostly sunny with the exception into the mid morning where we could see a few more clouds than sunshine. Seven day forecast going through the next week. The best chance of rain really comes on Friday as we go into the afternoon evening hours and then we'll start to see those uh, chances of clearing as we head through the weekend. See on Saturday and Sunday starting to get back to the 80s on Sunday and then more chances of showers going into the work week.